السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركة بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا ذدنا علمه رب يسر ولا تعسر ربي وتمم بالخير اللهم اجعل القرآن ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا اللهم آمين So we are going to start our first session today So today we will start some with some advanced level of uh, Arabic grammar in which we will discuss some more concepts after we have if we see that we have started with the surf part and then nav part fragments and then some other nav second part and today we are going we have some more topics we are almost uh, going towards the end of to end this course inshallah very soon so today we will just discuss our topic today we are discussing that is called tamyiz in Arabic, it is called tamyiz, and in English, we can say as clarification. Tamyiz, if we look at this word first grammatically like TPI, so if I ask somebody, Brother Hamad, what will be the first word for this tamyiz? Uh, I think it's maybe mayyaza. Yes. So, is it, so you the tamyiz, how you will recognize it is from which chapter? Uh, because of this uh, master verbal. No. Master of Bab? Bab, uh, Taf'il. Taf'il. Mayyaza, Mudare will be? Yumayyizu, tamyiz. Yes, that's right. Mayyaza, yumayyizu, tamyiz. Mayyaza means he separated, he distinguished, he differentiated. So, tamyiz mean clarification. So, tamyiz is same like uh, we also used it in uh, Urdu, tamiz. Tamiz is also basically to differentiate between two things. Uh, like in English, we say behave yourself, but in Urdu, especially, we say tamiz kar. Tamiz means, uh, means you, you should know the right and wrong, be on the right direction. Tamiz. Tamiz mean clarification. So today our topic is Tamiz. So Tamiz basically it is a noun which is, will be used to remove the ambiguity in the sentence. There will be a sentence which needs more clarification to understand. Sometimes we say something and that is vague. Like in sentences, we will see some example. If we will not complete them, there is a vague, vagueness. There is a ambiguity in the sentence. So there are some, we use noun in those sentences to clarify the ambiguity. So in the first case, yes, tamyiz is basically mayyaza yumayizu tamyiz. Mayyaza means he separated. He distinguished, he differentiated, so tam he clarified. So tamyiz means clarification. It will be a noun. First thing, it will be a noun. It is a noun. What is the purpose of this noun? To It will be used to clarify the ambiguity, vagueness in any sentence. Is It will clarify the sentence. It highlights the sentence and it will be more clear. So this first thing, it will be a noun that is used to remove the ambiguity in the sentence. Like, let's say the one example in English, we say, Zad is better. Okay, if someone says Zad is better, okay, there is no problem in the sentence. But as a speaker, if someone says Zad is better, the listener might ask, in what sense you are saying that he is better? In what terms? What are the qualities in why you are saying him better? So he has he has to use, the speaker has to use a noun to make it more clear. And here in English, let's say we say that Zad is better as a father. So this as a father in the sentence will be used as tamyiz. Here we will say it as 
tamiz. So we are using this terminology. We will say it again and again, and we should be, we should understood the meaning of that to clarify. So tamiz is a noun. Again, I would repeat, which is used to clarify the sentence or uh, any possible ambiguity in the sentence will be clarified by the tamiz, the word tamiz. Like here, as a father, we can say it is a tamiz in this sentence. So now this sentence is more clear. It is more distinguished. And now it the difference, whatever there was a dif uh, difference or any ambiguity or any vagueness, that is clear by adding a noun that is as a father. Now, this noun, this tamiz noun, there are three things are very important to remember it. We should remember this. Tamiz will be mansu, number one. Tamiz will be singular. Number Ma three. Tamiz is, will be a common noun. So for tamiz, it should. Tamiz is a noun. It's a word. Or it's a noun which is used to clarify. Okay, it's clear. Now, how this noun should be? Number one, this noun, this word, noun, tamiz will be mansub. Everybody is clear that it will, what mansub is. Number two, it will be singular. And number three, it will be common noun. Uh, let me ask someone to repeat it, Burak. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So, tamiz, let's say I say tamiz is a verb. Is it right or wrong as wrong. per our discussion? Wrong. Tamiz will be? A noun which, noun. Is, which so, is mansub, singular, and is common noun. Is common noun. So what is the meaning of tamiz, ya burak? Tamiz, uh, it removes the amb... Like it helps, the uh, makes more sense uh, in a sentence. It removes the ambiguity. In, in the sentence. sentence. Yeah. So let's say I, I can say that Burak is a good student, is better student. In what sense he will be better? Uh, one thing I would say here, and that is that he is, he is always regular. In terms of regularity, Burak is a good student. So regularity is basically the word that is noun tamiz. So tamiz noun will be a mansub. It is singular and common noun. Now, Without example, we will not be able to understand any terminology or anything. Let's say some, uh, let's take some of these sentences. Uh, let's say the first word, ayyukum ahsanu. Ayyu mean, first let's try to under, uh, translate it. Ayyu mean which, which one, kum you all, which one of you all, ahsanu, better. So, Nasar, I have a question from you. Sir. Uh, so can you please translate this? Ayyukum ahsanu? Ayyukum, which one of you all, ahsan, is better? Is better. Over here, do you think, do you think it is clear? Uh, we do have you to. Think this sentence is clear? Oh, no, not. Or, not clear. For example, a speaker is saying, Ayyukum ahsanu, which one of you is better? If I ask from you. So there will be a question raised in, in everyone's minds that in what terms you are saying, in which no, what no. quality you are saying. So it means this is not clear. There is something needed at the end which will make it very clear. And that we have to put at that will be called. Uh, Tamiz, that tamiz. noun will be tamiz, and that noun will be mansu. Uh, singular and nakara. Nakara, okay. So let's say this is one example. We will see th this how we can complete. Let's go to the next example. Uh, let me go to uh, Musab Iqbal. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Can you please? Say the second word, second example here. Okay. Ana aksaru minka. Okay, try to translate it. Okay. Ana I aksaru more min from ka you. Min, aksaru min. What will the meaning? When min will be used after its month of deal, so it will mean, mean is not uh, from. It will meaning will be then. More than. Hmm. 
I am more than you. You is it clear sentence? Yes. Okay. Now, if I if you say, let's say you are a speaker, I am a listener. You are saying, "Ana aktharu minka." I am more than you. So my question will be: In what sense you are more than me? In wealth, in knowledge, in health, in what sense? So is it clear? So you have to reply me in that answer. So is is this uh, is this sentence is clear? No. No, this means there will be, I need some clarification. I will ask you in what sense you are more than me? Is it uh, something, what quantity it is? Is it uh, health, knowledge, wealth or anything? So it means there is something needed here. Now, so in today's topic, we need a word tamiz that will clearly differentiate it, clearly uh, uh, it will uh, remove the ambiguity in that sentence. So we are, we understand that it can be, there was a little ambiguity, there is little ambiguity here, little ambiguity here, and that will be clear by using the word noun tamyiz. Let's go to the next. Uh, Uncle Hamid. Assalamualaikum. Sorry. Can you please uh, read this and try to translate and tell us that is there any ambiguity? Rabbe or... Zidni. So translate it. Uh, my Rabb. Rabbi means Rabbi. Uh, my Rabb. It is not Rabbi. My Rabb Zidni. No. It's not, so it's what not is the meaning? First, let's, let's clear here. What is the meaning of Rabbi? My Lord, it is my Rabb or oh my Lord, Rabb? Oh, uh... Yeah, so here it will be, if it it will be Rabbi, if Ya at the end, then it's mean my Lord. And we yesterday we also discussed this, but a Rabbi means oh my Lord. Ya Rabbi. So, Rabbi, Rabbi, oh Incre my Lord. Oh my Lord, increase me. Increase me. Oh my Lord, increase me. Increase me in what? In ilm, in uh, wealth, mal, or in health, or in what? So, it is not clear. Are you, do you agree with me that there it is not clear? No, it's not clear. So, we need something that will be called? Rabbi Zidni. No, what we, what we will call that thing? Uh, it is a... Uh, uh, tamiz. It is called Tamiz. Tamiz. Say again, uncle. Tamiz. So, uh, tamiz, tamiz in Urdu we use, but here it the word is Tamiz. So, it is not clear. Let's say next one more. Uh, Brother Hamad, can you please take this and explain us about Tamiz? Inni, <clears throat> indeed, I, Ra'aitu, I, see, Ahada, one, Ashara, ten, eleven. So, indeed, I, see, eleven. But it does not um, tell in the sentence that what was seen. Again, whatever we, so it means there is ambiguity here. It is not clear. It is not clear in the sentence. To make it clear, we need what? We need the tamizis. And now, tamizis should have uh, how many properties it should have? It should be? Three properties. It should be uh, singular. It should be mansu and it should be nakir. Nakir. Thank you very much. So, again, let me re recap the whole. First thing, tamizis. Today's topic is tamizis. Tamizis mean clarification. A noun used to clarify the ambiguity are vagueness in any sentence. We have, it should be, uh, there are three things for the tamiz we should remember. Number one, it should be mansu. It should be singular. Number three, it should be isme nakara, common noun. Okay. Now, let's, we have seen these example. Ayyukum ahsanu. Which one of you is better? In what? In what terms? I am more than you. In what terms? 
O oh my Lord, increase me. In what? Increase me. There is tamyiz is required so that ambiguity should be very clear. Indeed, I see 11. What 11 things? So that is, there should be a noun we have to put at the end. That noun will be called as tamyiz and it will be mansub, singular, and common noun. The first example, if we see here, now, ayyukum ahsanu amala, which one of you is better in terms of deeds? Second thing is, so here, amalan is, what, what is tamyiz noun here? Amalan. Second thing is, ana aktharu minka, I am more than you, in terms of what? Malan. So here, malan is tamyiz. Rabbi vidni ilma. Oh my Lord, increase me in what? In knowledge. We can put, oh Rabbi zidni, in Arabic sentence, we can say, Rabbi zidni amalan. Rabbi zidni malan. No problem. But definitely we need something here and that is called tamyiz. Mayaza yumayizu tamyiz. Someone have to mute the mic. Uh, so, okay, next is, in, uh, indeed, I see 11 what? Kaukaban. Uh, Kaukaban. Yeah, yes, Kaukaban is singular and it means star. Kawakib is basically plural. It's that star. So it is also singular. Indeed, I see 11 stars. Normally with this um, 11, 12 up to 99, most of the time singular is used. Uh, Uncle Hamid, if you can mute the mic, if possible. So, indeed, I see 11 stars. So, here, amalan, malan, ilman, kaukaban. All these, these are basically what they are, uh, the noun which are tamyiz. They are mansub. They are singular and common noun. And tamyiz mostly comes with ismat tabdeel, but not all time. If you see here, Yes, here, if you see, it is ismut tafdeel. Aksaru minka ismut tafdeel. But here, again, there is a verb. There is a counting. Adad ma'dud. So, counting is also coming. So, verb. But mostly, it comes with uh, ismut tafdeel. But not all time, as you can see here in example. So, let's take one more example here. And let me ask someone. Uh, Brother Ash'ar. Uh, Bhai, I think, is not there. Our might is minimal. Okay, Brother Ahmad. Walaikum as Brother uh, Ahmad, uh, the task is that you have to read this ayah, translate it, and you have to identify the tamyiz. Okay. Uh, Bisa sharabu wa sa'at mutafarrakhan. Murtafaqa. Murtafaqan, sorry. Okay, no problem. Bisa, uh, how bad? Yeah, what a bad. Asharab, the drink. Wasa'at. Uh, uh, Wa and? Wa and sa'at. She's bad. Sa'a yasu. Oh. <laughs> bad. Okay. How bad? It is bad. Is. Yeah. Uh, Murtafaqa. Murtafaqa, resting place. Okay. First, uh, combine the translation and then you have to identify here what is tamyiz. What a terrible drink and what a uh, bad resting place. And if we, so what will be here the word tamyiz? Uh, Mutafarraqa. Murtafaqa, uh, Murtafaqa. Murtafaqa, I'm sorry. Murtafaqa. Murtafaqa okay, is a tamiz. Okay, Murtafaqa is mansub. Yes. Uh, common noun? Yes. As well. Singular? And singular yes. as well. Yes. So what a bad um, 
how terrible we can say how terrible drink is and how bad is a resting place how bad what and it so it will murtafaqan will clarify it so this is all about the tamyiz so tamyiz is a noun a noun that is used to remove the ambiguity in the sentences it should be mansub singular and nakira most of the time it comes with noun and uh, it clarifies the ambiguity in the sentence so we will go to the breakout room and just we will see the example and identify the tamyiz there in these ex given examples over to you doctor 